star for you. Bringing you the action from County Stadium. Playing in their own stadium, we've got the home team. They'll be defending against the away team. I'm Dan Stevens. I'll be calling the game. And as always, Peter O'Keefe will deliver the color. Okay, Peter, let's review the lineups in today's game. Yep, one great one on offense, another one on defense. Looks like this team will be breaking the game open on both sides of the ball. But it's just as impressive on the other side. Well, this is what I call an offense smorgasbord, Dan. I mean, really, how can any defense hope to hold these two guys from connecting up? Thanks, Peter. The captains are at midfield for the coin toss. Good to see you. We're ready for you. Gentlemen, please make your call. We pick tails. Tails it is. We'll kick. The visiting team have won the toss and select a kick. Conway sends it away to begin the game. Little fields it way back at the nine. The tackle at the 31. The weather is certainly a factor, isn't it, Pete? Well, it doesn't rain much harder than this. This deluge is turning the grass into mud, and the players' cleats are churning it all right up. This game looks like it could become half football, half mud wrestling. Thanks, Peter. The home team offense takes the field, and they will start at their 31-yard line. up six on the play and that brings up second down second and four from 37 yards Gets the call again and passes the line. Tackled at the 37. Third down with a split backfield. Pearson catches this one, and they convert on third down. Drew Pearson headed for that sideline so fast, I thought his mom must have paid him. But at least he got past the markers before giving old mom a call. Nice play, and they will convert on third. Great execution, Dan. They did everything right. First and ten. Number seven throws a ball and it's caught at the 47, stopped at the 49. Number seven has a knack for sticking square pegs through round holes when it comes to completing a tough pass. They move the ball and it will be second down. Second and three, ball at the 49 yard line. Little gets the handoff and heads left. No one in front of him. Hunted down at the 35. Floyd Little keeps it in the family on this play, and he had a lot of brothers to help him. Yeah, that design run was a success because he followed his blockers. Without him, he wouldn't have gone anywhere. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. First down from the shotgun. Number seven throws a heater right sideline, and he's on target for a gain of five. 
Number seven ran out of choices and had to take the long shot. So he zeroed in, pulled the trigger, and hit his man. Great execution. Second and five. Moon snags the dart right sideline, and that will be a gain of three yards. Warren Moon is wide open on that play. Makes you wonder if the defensive coordinator wants to keep his job or not. A decent play, and they'll now face third and short. That's the key, Dan. Make third down easy, and they did just that. Now they just need to convert. We'll see what they do. Number seven throws a bullet and they can't connect. Incomplete. Albert Russell just flailed there. Horrible lapse in concentration. That seems to be an odd call, Peter. It fell incomplete, but even if they had caught it, they still would have been short of the first down. I don't like those calls either. Got to get past the markers on those routes. It'll be fourth down. Fourth, fourth down, and, and they're going for it. The home team want to talk it over, and they take their first time out. Fourth down, two yards to go. Griffin with the 44-yard attempt and barely misses this one off to the right. Stephen Griffin misses the field goal here. Let's watch this again. Yep, it's just a little bit to the side of the upright, but close only counts in horseshoes. The away team will start the drive at their 34-yard line. Brown has his number called on first down, and Picks up a couple. Jerome Brown didn't get very far on that last play, and he even had the help of some blocking. Well, I guess the defense had their number. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Brown gets the ball again and heads upfield. Popped hard at the 43. Demetrius Doris made a great block on that play to help out the ball carrier. That's what you call a team player. Third down, just a single receiver on the field. Brown gets the call on third down and is dropped short of the marker. Fourth down coming up. Charlie Smith brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. The defense's back was against the wall, and they rose to the challenge, Peter. Yeah, Dan, that's great D. They had to make a stand here, and they stood together. It will be fourth down. Bauman lines up to punt after the three and out. Bauman gets the snap and punts it away. <clears throat> Little takes it at the 21. Tackled at the 24. Floyd Little didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The home team had their last drive stall at the tail end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their own 24-yard line. 
Little makes his fourth carry of the game and hits out right, eventually tackled at the 38. Dan, they eat up some major yards on that run. This is a well-prepared rushing game. Well, Peter, credit his speed, coupled with the great blocking that he got, not ensured he had room to run. They are the total package. Nice run, Peter, and he's putting together some very nice stats. Definitely. Up to now, he's got 36 yards on four carries. First down, one man down. the rope right side and that will be a gain of three yards drew pearson lost his footing on that last play Ooh, that weather is really something second and seven from 41 yard line The 39. Derek Thomas read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. makes the catch, but that's not enough for him. He gets it and takes off for more. Big play to snare that one and put six on the board. He's got a nose for the end zone, Dan, and the ability to get there. Uh -huh. Coverage better tighten up, though, unless they want to see that play again. point and it's good Griffin kicks it off. Taylor deals the kickoff at the six. Tackled at the 30. John Taylor got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The away team stalled early last drive. We'll have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 30-yard line. Number seven throws a bullet to the flat, and the ball is caught at the 28, and he's stopped right there. Charlie Smith read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That's his second tackle so far. Second down, two tight ends in the game. Ward makes a tough catch and manages to hold on after the punishing hit. On the play. First down, away team. Douglas Lloyd faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The home team are out in front, seven to nothing.
Number seven throws the pass, and it falls incomplete. John Taylor got the ball so fast there, you'd think it bit him on the thumb or something. That falls incomplete, but it would have been a minimal gain had they completed it anyway. Second and ten. Ball at the 47 yard. up four yards and that brings up third down third down with the tight end right number seven throws a heater right sideline and it's tipped Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Warren Moon came in and got a hand on that football. He left no chance for a reception there. It seemed like the defense read that one from the beginning, and they forced the incompletion with Rubble to be. Beautiful call by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. Bauman gets ready to punt it away. the long snap and punts it away. The home team got into the end zone last time they had it and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their own six-yard line. Little carries it for the sixth time and gains about three yards. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Has his number called on second down and almost gets back to the line of scrimmage, but not quite before he's taken down. Derek Thomas read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. They don't let that play get back to the line of scrimmage, and that will bring up third down. Little fouls off his left guard and his drop short of the marker that will bring up fourth down michael carr just planted the ball carrier in the turf short of the markers but you know dan the only thing that's going to grow is this d's morale the defense didn't budge on that play and they force a fourth down ellis lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away ellis gets the snap and punts it away Taylor fields the punt at the 47. Tackled at the 45. John Taylor didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The away team have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at the 45-yard line. Brown loses about three, and that will bring up second down. We had an injury away from the ball, and they are sending out the trainers. And as always, we'll hope for the best, and any updates that we get, we'll pass along to you. Charlie Smith suffers a tough break here. Unfortunately, injuries are too often a part of this game. Second and 12 from the away to 48 yard. Down! Sit! You don't get nowhere for that ball! Rip! 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 
They couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. Douglas Lloyd looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. That's a good example of how he's not yet reached his full potential. First drop pass of the game for him, and his quarterback hopes it's his last. Third and Number seven fires this one over the middle, and this one is incomplete. Douglas Lloyd makes a sharp move into a short pattern, but the ball ends up on the turf. That's one the offense should have been able to complete. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose with that guy. Second drop pass. Well, Dan, his inconsistency makes the coach very nervous, I can tell you that. Bauman lines up to punt after the three and out. Bauman takes the snap and punts it away. Little feels it way back at the 10. Brought down at the 13. Floyd Little got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The home team take the field and will start out at their own 13-yard line. Number seven throws a heater and it's complete at the 22. Finally stopped at the 39. Number 88 is going to make a great play right here. Snags the football and then really turns on the juice. Ooh, that guy was rumbling. <laughs> ha, he's not exactly fleet of foot, you know, but on that last play, he spun his wheels and really dug in for those extra yards. And when you barrel down the field like a Mack truck, you don't need to be fleet of foot. Number 88 makes the catch on the right sideline, and that's good for a gain of five. Number seven made a nice throw there, got it right past the defender. He's been on point with the short pass so far, Dan. That pattern's worked so well, we're probably going to see it over and over again. Well, why not, Peter? His receivers are open and making grabs, and nobody has really stopped him from doing it. Second down from the eye. Number seven throws a high, long one to the right, and the big catch is made with daylight in front of him. Touchdown! Warren Moon really comes to play on this baby. He makes the solid catch, and then he takes off. Check it out. Give him an inch, and he'll steal every yard he can. He'll get the touchdown, and he does it in style. Beautiful play. Here's the point after, and it's good. Griffin boots it away. Taylor fields the kickoff at the nine. Tackled at the 28. John Taylor got waylaid by the defense before he was able to put Munch on the run back.
The away team can climb back into it with a score before the half here. They'll start this drive at their own 28-yard line. Ebby makes the nice catch and tries to get free. Round to a halt at the 34. Nate Ebby made the grab as the coverage seemed like they were in another world. Whose man is he? They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second and four from the away to 34 yards. Morris takes him down back at the 33. Willard Morris targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They don't let that play get back to the line of scrimmage, and that will bring up third down. Third and five from the away team. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground, and it's incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Damon James had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Bauman lines up for the punt. Bauman gets the snap and punts it away. Little hauls it in at the 26. Tackled at the 29. Floyd Little didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The home team come out on the field and are looking to extend their lead before the break. They'll start at their own 29-yard line. Number 88 makes the catch out to the left and picks up four on the play. Smith had to leave the field earlier in the game, and now we've gotten word on his condition. Peter? It appears he's got a dislocated shoulder. They've popped it back in the socket, but they don't think he's going to return to the game. He could, but he'd really be risking injuring it even worse if an impact jarred the joint again. Thanks, Peter. Second and five. will get the carry on second down and rambles for about five. Deron Cherry made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. That's his second tackle so far. Third down and less than a yard. From 38 yards. Hauls him down in the backfield, and that takes them even farther away from the marker. That will bring up fourth down. Adam Williams targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They come up with the big play, and on third and short, they force the fourth down. Yeah, they even caused a loss of yardage. What a time to come up big. Ellis lines up to punt after the three and out. Takes the long snap and punts it away. Taylor deals the punt at the 28. Brought down at the 33. John Taylor didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The away team must feel like they need to score this timeout. This drive will start at their 33-yard line. Loy makes the catch on the right sideline and is well past the markers for a first down. Pick up 14 yards on the play. 
Douglas Lloyd goes to the outside here and picks up some good yardage. It's worth a second look. Nice gain, past the marker, and out of bounds. That's a great play. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. Let's go. First and ten from the away to 47 yards. Take their first time out. Second down, two wide outs on the field. No dice, and it falls incomplete. Eric Green gained some separation off the line, but couldn't make the catch a few yards downfield incomplete. That would have gotten the first, but it's incomplete, and it will be third down. Number seven puts his arm into this one and it's tipped incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Antoine Grady came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Bauman lines up for the punt. Welcome to my neighborhood. Bauman gets the ball and punts it away. Little catches it at the 11. Brought down at the 17. Floyd Little got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The home team take the field with the clock at 21. Number seven fires this one over the middle, and the ball is caught for a gain of seven on the play. Number 88 had a defender close by, but was able to bring down the catch. These guys make very great targets, not to mention it takes a whole defense to bring them down. Well, let me tell you something, Dan. When that bull starts roaming around in that china shop, <laughs> things get broken pretty fast. Second down, three yards to go. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The home team enjoying a lead 14 to nothing. Okay, Dan, let's get this halftime show started. What do you have for us? Well, here's a look at our halftime stats, and as you can see, it paints a pretty clear picture. The away team are certainly losing because of it. It's hard to win when you play like that. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Little would get up ahead of steam, and then it was clear sailing from here. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. Towards the end of the first quarter, all at their own 38-yard line. Pearson came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. A 61-yard touchdown for the home team. Still late in the first, the away team back by seven. Number seven would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. The home team, middle of the second, number seven, is back to throw, and look at the finesse he puts on this one. A 56-yard touchdown for the home team. And that's how we'll round this one out. The home team are up big at the half, 14 to nothing. All right, good work, partner. The away team get the ball first this half, and they could use a score right out of the gates to get back into this one. 
They currently trail 14 to nothing. Let's go down to the field. Griffin kicks it, and the second half is underway. Taylor fields the second half kickoff at the 8. Bang down at the 28. John Taylor tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forcefully there. The away team haven't gotten much out of their offense recently and are looking to get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 28-yard line. Morris chases him down and makes the tackle just behind the line. Willard Morris read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That's his second tackle so Great. far. Second and 10. Ball at the 28-yard line. up a yard on the play and that will bring up third down jerome brown powered forward with the football thanks to some initial blocking problem was they couldn't keep that push going for very long well not much of a game there and they will face third down third and long too then big play coming up Number seven lets it go down the right side, and it's tipped incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Eddie Blackwell came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Bauman lines up to punt after the three and out. Here I come, punter. I'm coming. I'm a block of punt. Bauman takes the long snap and punts it away. Little fields the punt at the 35. Stop at the 38. Floyd Little got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The home team come out on offense, and they are well ahead. They'll start this drive at their 38-yard line. Little gains three yards, and that brings up second down. The pickup of three on the play. Carr credited with the tackle. Let's go! Second and seven from 41 yards line. Gets the call again and searches for a hole. Hammered down at the 43. Floyd Little had blockers on his side on that last play, but the defense was too smart. They gave him nowhere to go. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. Third down from the shotgun. Ball at the 43 yard line. Number seven throws it to the left sideline, and they get the first on third and long. Number seven didn't have a lot of room to sneak that ball in there. Oh, I got to see this again. Yeah, the throw is a tight fit, but he and the receiver make it work. A great catch in traffic, good vision, good timing on the play made that work. Nice pass, Peter, and he's really lighting up the stat sheet. Oh, you got it. So far, he's got 209 yards and no interceptions. as well past the markers for a first down there's a penalty marker on the play let's listen into the call pass interference 
Number 92. <laughs> First and ten from the away to 15 yard line. Little will take the handoff and passes the line. Locked down at the 15. Floyd Little powered forward with the football thanks to some initial blocking. Problem was they couldn't keep that push going for very long. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what second you can get, down. Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down, both wide outs to the right. Number seven threw a tremendous cross-field beauty to find his man. That is the definition of arm strength. You have to respect this offensive game plan. That was their third connection downfield today, Peter. Yep, the coaches must have found a weak spot in that secondary. Little loses two, and that will bring up fourth down. Flag down on the play. Let's get the call. Neutral zone infraction, number 70, defense, half the district, the first down. Jim Marshall was lined up on the ball, and the ref called him on it. That's a neutral zone infraction. Great. First and goal from the away to four yard line. We got some playmaker receivers and a great quarterback. What else could you ask for in a goal-to-go -go situation? Little has his number called on first down and almost gets back to the line of scrimmage, but not quite before he's taken down. Michael Carr got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. That will be his fourth tackle of the contest. up a yard on the play and that brings up third down Floyd Little had blockers on his side on that last play but the defense was too smart it gave him nowhere to go not a lot of room on that play it will be third down third and goal from the away to four yard line. No dice, and it falls incomplete. That will bring up fourth and goal. Steve Tasker makes a sharp move into a short pattern, but the ball ends up on the turf. That's one the offense should have been able to complete. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Fourth down, goal to go. Blake will hold the kick. Griffin with a 21-yarder, and this one is up and in. Stephen Griffin kicked that one so wide it almost hit the upright, but luckily the kick was good. Griffin boots it away. Taylor catches it back at the nine. Tackled at the 30. John Taylor was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The away team, they have taken the field and they've been having a tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as we start at their own 30 yard line.
will bring up second down. He picked up three on the play. Brady credited with the tackle. Let's go! Second and seven from the OA team. Abby catches the left sideline and picks up maybe a yard. Third down, tight end to the left. The 23. Fourth down coming up. Howard Clemens just nails the offense with a huge loss. Watch how he targets the quarterback and then crushes him. Oh, he sacks him way back there. Great play. They pushed him back even farther. And Peter, could this fourth down get any longer? Well, theoretically, yeah, but it's plenty long enough already. Bauman gets ready to punt it away. Oh, that's that felt good. Bauman gets the ball and punts it away. Little catches it at the 40. Back down at the 44. Floyd Little got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The home team came away with three last time out and are looking for more. They'll start this drive at their 44-yard line. Number seven, rifles it out left side, and it's caught at the 49, chased down at the 40. Warren Moon makes a sweet little move after the catch that we just got to fire up the replay o for. Wow, he's always fighting for those extra yards. That move helped get him a few. It takes a lot of courage to make your living over the middle, I'll tell you, but we've seen him there several times today. Yeah, that's a guy who's willing to sacrifice his body to make his quarterback look good. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The home team in command of this one, 17 to nothing. First down, three wideouts in the game. Boom! Catches it over the middle and is at the 35, and he's stopped right there. Number seven laid this pass in beautifully, rendering the defense irrelevant. When you can make accurate throws like that, the whole field starts to open up for you. Again, he uses the middle of the field to advance the football. And, uh -huh. Dan, why not? Well, they, they found some seams, some crease right in the middle, and, well, they feel they can take advantage of it at any time. Little takes his 16th carry of the game and ends up losing about three. Charlie Waters targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That will be his fourth tackle, and he's hitting hard out there in the secondary. Well, he's making them think twice before going his direction. Michael Carr just planted the ball carrier in the turf short of the markers. But, you know, Dan, the only thing that's going to grow is this D's morale. He's now up to six tackles. Ellis lines up for the punt. Oh, yeah, punter. I'm coming. I'm blocking this. Ellis takes the long snap and punts it away. Let the punt bounce for a touchback. Pete Ellis saw his kick go squirrely on him for a touchback. <laughs> Tough luck.
The away team bring their offense on the field and will start the drive at their own 20-yard line. Brown catches it in the flat and gains a couple. Jerome Brown used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second and eight. Number seven throws this on a rope, and the reception is made for a pickup of maybe a yard. Third down and four wideouts in the game. James reels in the football, and they get the first on third and long. Number seven throws a bullet to the flat, and the reception is made for a pickup of maybe a yard. Jerome Brown lost yards on that play back there. You got to get some yards before you can run out of bounds, fella. They could not get this one across the line, Peter. Not the best execution there in my book. True, but a bit of a loss on first isn't going to kill you. That'll bring up second down. coverage incomplete. Ryan Pagel came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That was the fourth time they've swatted the ball out of the air and the offense is looking frustrated. The D is showing excellent fundamentals right here. Third down with the tight end right. Number seven throws a beauty to the right side, and it's incomplete. Douglas Lloyd just flailed it. Horrible lapse in concentration. Those mid-range passes are not working out for them so far. Peter, what's different in that range? Well, the coverage and their reaction time. The D is beating them to the punch right here. Fourth down, and they're going for it. This one falls incomplete, and they will turn the ball over on down. The showers are really turned on full blast, making it a big challenge to execute. Ooh, tough to run routes, tough to throw, and very tough to catch. They don't convert on fourth down, Peter, pretty much squelching any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. Yeah, they needed at least a field goal off that one. Let's just say a comeback is going to be very difficult. The home team take the field, and can they capitalize on the defensive stop? We'll find out as they start this drive at the 36-yard line. Carr takes him down back at the 38. Michael Carr would not be denied and dropped him for a huge loss. Big play. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got seven tackles. Second down, one man back. Little will get the carry on second down and gains about three yards. Third and nine from the OA to 35 yards. Yeah. 
Little goes right up the middle and gets taken down well short of the markers. Fourth down coming up. Adam Williams made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. That's his second tackle so far. Ellis lines up to punt after the three and out. Taylor is deep to receive. Oh, yeah, punter. I'm coming. I'm blocking this. Ellis gets the ball and kicks a short one. Taylor fields the short punt at the 12. Tackled at the 16. John Taylor got sandbagged before he hardly got anywhere on that run back, but the kick was so bad it still gave his offense a nice starting point. The away team were stopped on fourth down last time out. We'll see what happens as they start this drive at their own 16-yard line. Number seven throws a bullet here, and it's tipped. No good, incomplete. Douglas Lloyd almost brought that baby in, but it was just off his fingers. Well, you know, at some point it becomes the coach's fault for leaving him in there. Yeah, after five drop balls, Dan, you'd think it would just stop being thrown in his direction. Second down, 10 yards to go. John Taylor had a defender close by, but was able to bring down the catch. You know, I, I haven't the faintest idea, Peter, why they keep throwing underneath. The yards really aren't adding up. Yeah, receivers are doing what they can to catch the ball, but at some point, they got to move forward to make it worthwhile. Third down, the clock is stopped at 150. Number seven fires this one over the away team. Will take a timeout. That's their second. Jeff Howard brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. They allow a little there, but they do force a fourth down. Way to attack the ball. Fourth down, they and they're going for it. it and they will turn it over what a costly mistake John Taylor has this one in his hands and then oh, drops it well they don't convert on fourth down and that will be it for them yeah chalk this one up in the L column Dan it's all over Takes a knee, and the clock will tick down. Third and 13. Blake takes a knee, and the clock will tick down.
Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Field goal from 26 yards. Blake will hold the kick. Griffin with the 43-yard attempt and barely misses this one off to the right. Stephen Griffin misses the field goal here. Let's watch this again. Yep, it's just a little bit to the side of the upright, but close only counts in horseshoes. The away team start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 19. Sacks him, and the clock continues to run. Second down, three wideouts in the game. No dice, and it falls incomplete. Eric Green had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose with that guy. Second drop pass. Well, Dan, his inconsistency makes the coach very nervous, I can tell you that. Third down, the clock is stopped at four. them even farther away from the marker. With this one in the books, let's take a look back at some of the action. That was an exciting game. So let's not waste any time in getting to the highlights in our post-game show. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Number seven went up top on the third down play, and he was able to find his man. That set up an automatic 21-yard field goal. The home team have opened it up and now lead by 17. Towards the end of the third quarter, all at their own 43. Moon found a soft spot in the defense, and it worked to his advantage. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. Now early in the fourth quarter, the away team trailing by 17. James found a soft spot in the defense, and it worked to his advantage. And that's where we'll have to leave this one. The home team serve up a shutout, 17 to nothing. Finally, let's give it up for our 2K Sports player of the game. Number seven proved once again why he's one of the best. Well, the quarterback gets credit when his team succeeds, and he deserves it. He led his team through the air with a big game passing. Just look at those yards. His performance made the difference in this one. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time.